Would you look at that? They're bringing back my old G.I. Joe toys. That was one of the few that I didn't get to get as a kid. Yeah. That looks similar to the one my stepmom got. Uh, my cousin Bobby and cousin Stevie, who really didn't like G.I. Joe. And she got me a baby rattle. Um, by the way, I was like 9, 10 years old. She got me a baby rattle. Uh, one of those cardboard books. And a whole bunch of other things that said uh, 3 years old on it. I was so insulted. I was about 10 years old. I was very insulted. I wanted the vehicle with the exclusive G.I. Joe guy inside of it. That's right, and it was a Cobra. Yes, and she got them for my two cousins who didn't do two craps about G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe was my thing. Not that I'm complaining about it. Now, I haven't seen these toys since the 80s. I actually had, I actually had most of these toys in the 80s. I remember having these toys. Uh, these are the only two He-Man toys they have here, but that is so crazy. I remember having this and losing that piece to him, losing his whole his whole covering. Wow. But that's not the craziest thing. They're bringing back He-Man and G.I. Joe. That's not the craziest thing. They're bringing back He-Man and G.I. Joe and putting out fucking alien toys. This isn't even a kid's movie. These this specific these specific toys come from the one best out of the the quadrilogy. Look, all the toys are from Aliens 2. Aliens. Huh? Who's that, Ripley? Huh? There was only there was only one movie where the gun turrets were in. Huh? Only one movie had the tank. Only one movie had the best awesome monster queen. And not to get too far off the subject, these toys are satanic. Oh yeah, the devil is putting out toys now and getting kids to secretly worship Satan. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say secretly, I should say unknowingly. Unknowingly worship Satan. And this is just ridiculous. Redonkulous. God bless.